Well, this is the city of Shanghai, and it really is one of the world's most interesting cities. The classic cliche, I suppose, a city of contrast. Got a bit of the old fashioned stuff there, one of those sort of dragon dances just about to happen. Look out here. In the background, a lot of modern buildings. If your view of China is that it's sort of old fashioned and not much happening, you're quite wrong. China is a modern, vibrant country, but wherever you look, you can see something that's as modern as tomorrow beside people that are often very poor. Now, in case you're wondering about the stats, where is Shanghai? What does it all mean? Shanghai is roughly the same sort of latitude as Perth in Western Australia. So in other words, that's about its sort of temperature. About 13 million people, now remember Australia only has 20 million people in the whole country, but there's about 13 million people live here. It was sort of gotten going as a city around the 1300s. So by Chinese standards, this is a fairly modern city. Second biggest city in China, depends which authority you consult on that. And of course, it's China's major trading seaport. Some of the modern buildings here are quite bizarre. That very tall pointy one is actually the television tower. A wonderful piece of architecture. Behind the camera here though is another amazing area. This is sort of the British influence. Through the 1800s, the British wanted to trade with China and Shanghai of course was the key port. A number of wars erupted over opium, which was the main thing, but also tea and silk and then various treaties were arranged, but it was all rather unstable. The bits remain, old English bits, modern bits, traditional Chinese bits. This city, Shanghai, through that period was described as the whore of the East, or, or even the Paris of the East. It really is a curious sort of a city, but an exciting city. If you ever come to China, this is one you would not miss.